what is up welcome back to a brand new video i'm sushi mushi and today i'm going to be giving you guys five random but helpful gfx tips if you guys want me to make this a series please let me know in the comments and i can do that now without further ado let's get straight into it tip number one let's say you need an avatar for a gfx but you have no idea who to use what i like to do and what many people do is they go to a fancy group like aesthetic vibe over here aesthetic vibe is literally a clothing designer group so I'm assuming that means the HRs are gonna have good style. Go down here to the member tab, scroll up and find vice president or some like high rank. Boom, here, Olivia. She has a nice, she has a nice avatar, right? Let's see. Yup, she does. Let's keep looking. Let's go to advisor. Anyone here? Okay, yeah, unknown. She looks like it kind of looks cool. Boom, that's a great avatar. Another one. Let's go to customer service. Boom, more. Let's go to manager. Boom, more. Here, cow for example. That's a really nice avatar. This works on lots of groups, like go to a bakery, go to go to pastries or something. Everyone has nice avatars if they're rich and a high rank. Another way you could get a nice avatar is simply by going to avatar shop and just finding nice clothing, nice accessories, and adding it to yours, your own avatar on Roblox Studio. My next tip is to use Lightrooms. Here I have a rig and I have the textures on it and everything, and I'm gonna render it and let's see how it looks without a Lightroom. Boring. There's no lighting, it's very plain, nothing special. Now I'm gonna add a Lightroom and let's see how it looks. Okay, Lightroom added, let's render. Much better, the lighting makes it more alive, it's cleaner, and it looks more enhanced. Also, when you wanna edit the lighting in Photoshop, it'll be much better. Okay, let's say you're making a GFX and you do not know what to add. You wanna add some type of decoration, some type of overlay but you don't have any and you don't know what brush to use, you don't know what to do. But what I like to do is I like to add these things. You guys may have seen it on my GFX or other people's GFX and they're so cool looking. These are super easy to make and I'm gonna show you how right now. What you wanna do is go to make a new layer, go to the brush tool, go to the soft brush, increase the size, I have it at like 278, it's whatever you want though. And then put the color you want in the screen. So let's say you're doing like a purplish, bluish color scheme. Get like a light purple, put it on the screen, then get a darker purple, like around that. Put that on the screen, then go for a really darker color, like that. And boom. Now go to filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur, and blur it until it looks something like that. Then click OK. Now go to your brush tool, go to mix your brush, and Make sure you go to the hard brush. It's that brush right over here. Then click on this drop down menu and click dry heavy load. Once you do that, increase the size of your brush a bit. Then hold Alt on your keyboard and click on the middle of where all the colors are. Just like that. Now create a new layer and let's test it out. Boom. These are super fun to add and they look really nice. Another scenario, let's say you wanna add brushes but you don't have any nice ones and you wanna find new ones. Go to Google and search up brusheasy.com. Now you're on this website and they have a million brushes that you can use for free. So let's say you wanna use a splatter brush. Search up splatter. And here are so many options of what you can get. Look around and find one you want. I'm gonna click this one. Click free download and it'll take five seconds to download. Go to the bottom left of your screen where the zip file is and click on that. And then go to solid paintbrush over here and find the ABR file. Here it is. Then double click on it and it'll take you back to Photoshop. And if you scroll down, you should find it over here. Here's how it looks. Boom, it looks great. You can use that process to find lots of nice brushes. Now my final tip. Lots of people want to have a nice background on the GFX, but they don't know how to. And here's what I would do. I like to add liquefied backgrounds. So go ahead and create a new layer and pick a brush you want to use. I'm going to use this splatter brush over here. Pick a color you want. Boom, I'll go with that color. Click on your screen. There it is. Go to filter. Go to liquify. Make sure you're on the forward warp tool over here, or you can click W to get to it. Increase the size of your brush, and then just hold on your screen and rotate it around. Just like so. Do it up to how much you want to, and then click OK. And there it is. Of course you can mess with the modes on it, you can crap it, do whatever you want. And yeah, those are all the tips. If you found today's video helpful, please let me know in the comments, leave a like, subscribe, it helps me so much. And while you're at it, leave some video ideas down below. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace out.